Hello everyone, QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I am back today with, I believe it is day 19 of the Great Royal Challenge. This, uh, I'm not sure about you guys, um, like I've been saying this whole time, this event is awesome. Lots of great stuff. It's wonderful. The the one downside, especially with my busy schedule, is it's a, a very long grind. Three weeks of constant grinding. I know some people are actually hardcore grinding the entire three weeks. Uh, me personally, these last week to 10 days has been hard. I and mean, then, as you can see here, I'm up to level 85, so certainly making some progress, but it has slowed substantially. I have, on the weekends, I've basically gotten through the portal, you know, just a bare minimum of the portal. This one I got a little bit further. Um, and I am, you know, wasting tons of food and just not doing everything. So I certainly could be at a much higher level, but it's just. Haven't really had time, and then also getting a little burned out with needing to do that constant grind. So, I'm not sure what you guys think. Um, still enjoying it, but at the same time, it's it's a little bit long. So, for me personally, I'm I'm kind of happy that we're approaching the end here. And something I noticed, I'm sure many others have noticed this too. It said two days for me here, two days and five hours, 41 minutes. Um, my plan was to you know right at the end go ahead and open everything up and get everything. Um, but for me, my bedtime is within the next hour or two. Uh, I won't be able to get to the last hour like I usually like to do because there's no way I'm waiting up for that. But I did notice, so here we got two days and five hours here. But if we go to the store, try to buy the golden ticket, which we've already bought, the golden pass, it says five days and five hours. So that pretty much means that they're going to, once it closes, you're going to be able to not earn any more um, Tickets, items, what are we calling these guys? It's been so long, I don't remember. Um, tokens, whatever these guys are to, to progress your game here. Uh, you won't be able to earn them anymore, but of course you can go to the store and buy more. So they're going to give three days. This is not official. This is all unofficial, but it seems fairly obvious from what I see here. So three days you'll get to go and spend. So I'll probably potentially wait until five days are up, and then I'll go ahead and spend everything. But we will go ahead and open some stuff today. We're going to start progressing this account. It'll be slow, of course, but that will be the goal of this um, session today. Got a couple things to open, a little bit of progress to make, but we're going to start working on leveling our hero. And to finish one of my daily quests the other day, I had to open up a bunch of blue plus gems. So I went through the, the event here and pulled out some purples and the... Uh, Legendary armor as well, so uh oh, uh oh. All right, well, this video will be much shorter than I had planned. Well, that stinks. All right, maintenance 15 minutes or 20 minutes. All right, well, now I got a timer of how this video is gonna how long this video is gonna go. So, <laughs> very nice. I don't know what that's about. Um, haven't read anything. I don't know if they're doing a fix. I know they've been you know doing fixes throughout because there's been some problems people have been running into. Um, not sure it's that or they're preparing for something else probably not but uh all right so let's just jump right in we got a couple things to do one one item of note um this is my my normal six squad and as you see here is where i put my extras and right now we have a new addition angie became a our ninth level 100 so we're now nine times 100 just you know i'm going to start setting everybody up with whatever gear i'm looking looking to use and I can sub in and sub out as needed. So, so we now have nine one hundreds. Our next one here is going to be Leah. She's at ninety five, and she's so what is that? Four twenty three days, and then take off um, sixty, so twenty one days ish. Well, so in three weeks from now, we'll have our tenth, and then we'll have our last two in there, grinding their way up. That's pretty exciting. I'm kind of looking forward to not having to worry about going in there and watching those three videos every day to, to speed that process up. All right, what other progress have we made? Um, the hero we're gonna be going to do a little bit here. Uh, leveled this up a little bit, so Maddie's now got blue plus for everything. Um, she's my primary tank with heal and heal. Um, we made a change here before where we're not running the, um, not running the magic ring. And I need to start inserting some some gems into some of these guys. I mean, my other big one, as you saw right there, was Leah. I mean, she's lots of purples. But I believe we have some some high-powered gems in the bench here, too. So, like we got two purples there. We got one, two. We got a 
ton of blues. So we got a lot of gems on the bench. We're going to have to remove and start sticking in. There's two more purples, five more purples. So we certainly got some stuff we can start doing to level up our primary players. And I mean, this actually end up being put on somebody more than likely. So maybe I'll leave those in there. Um, but the point is that that's going to be part of what we'll be doing as we uh, progress forward in this account. So our overall squad power is up to nothing of any note here. 32.78, and I think my historical is 33.11 or something. 33.33. Um, and our hero power is up to nothing. 3.35, probably one of the lowest in the history of all people. So one of the things I've been doing is going in every day. This refreshes. Go to the store and see what they're giving away for, for prices here. So we got the champion belt. And I'm seeing if these will help me because what we're going to do, we're going to start using our dungeon items to progress and try to get some of these totems that you can like stick in the sand in the back. I noticed a lot of squads I've been fighting have those and they kick my butt. So that's that's where I want to get to level up and get high enough to be able to get those. So as I'm seeing some of these relics that I need, I've been buying them at 99 a pop, which isn't cheap, but you know, I had like what 13,000, 11,000 gems. We still got quite a few there. So all right, so what do we got? We got the champion's belt, fragment, and the glove. So then I'm going here to see if any of those are immediately relevant. Um, and I gotta find where they are. I thought he had the champion's belt. Apparently not. There's the glove, right? Warrior's gloves. So I got three or three there. So I don't need that. We do need to find the champion's belt. Oh, I've seen it somewhere. Warriors, right? Oh, yeah, it is a warrior. It was right the first time. So we need to get one for that to go up a level. We're already at level one, so we don't need to do that. We don't need to buy any more unless it's useful. What do we do? Warriors get 1,500 health for each warrior in the squad. And if we go up, that'll be 2,600. When I'm looking for a tank, there's someone who had to buy one of those. And we can actually use that probably now, too. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. Dungeon store. And this is certainly an expensive way to go, but I the problem is, as you guys have probably seen, I don't really do the dungeons very much, especially with all the other grinding I'm trying to do, and I haven't really made a lot of progress there. So I, I for sure will, um, just haven't been doing it. So that gets us one more step there to finish that daily, but I have a feeling 20 minutes that guy's going to be closed. We're going to miss our, we're going to miss that one. And how much time do we have here? We have two days to finish those two. So, okay, let's go and level up our hero a touch. Let's see if we can't get him up a bit. So our first goal that I see that, what is this guy? Not available yet. This, this totem right here, happy warrior totem. Obviously we can't buy it yet because we don't have the relics. I'm pretty sure I've seen that early on once it came out. So I could have bought the relics now and had enough, but yeah. Don't have it yet, so it is what it is. We'll we'll get there. But this guy gives us the option of the increased crit for random ally ten percent, reduce attack speed. Okay, well that's you know not horrible. And then here's another. Oh, it's an active skill. We're not going to be running that one. Uh, do I need all of these before I can do that one? You know what the funny thing is? I know you guys see this every time. I just don't know. I mean, everything is so expensive. Like, what should you get? What really, you know, what really is worth spending? And that's when I start struggling. But ultimately, ultimately, I see people running these guys, and they, they're they usually, even people quite a bit less power than me. And their hero is more than me, obviously. But they're running their power way lower than me, and they kick my butt. So I'm assuming... This is part of it because it's fairly consistent. So this one here is good. So when the battle starts, the hero summons a random one that gives you restore 22,000 health to a random ally. That's only one. Deals damage to an enemy unit or increases the ability to cool down a random enemy. But so that's pretty good for sure. Don't have enough relics to level that one or to buy that one yet. Well, that's kind of disappointing. I, don't know how, I can't buy any of those yet. At least I can get to the point where once I get it, I can do it. So let's go with that. So the first one, we'll just start from the beginning. We want to get our warrior up to 50. 
or our archer. What are we running? We're running two warriors currently, I think, right? Nope, we're running two archers right now. So, oops, wrong spot. Speaking of wrong spot, anything in here worth buying since we have, you know, no time to waste? Uh, yeah, that's not going to be helpful. I don't know how much time do we have. 12 minutes. Okay. 12 minutes to wrap up. So let's take our warrior. Nope, archer reset. And we want to work our way out towards getting this. But to do that, we need 50. Right now, we only have 29. And da, 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 da. So we would have to buy a ton. So let's see if we have any archer items we can buy. Yeah, we're going to very quickly run out of time here. I'm not just going to blindly be silly and just go blasting through, but we can at least start prepping for the next video. Kind of looking forward to open some of these up and see what we're going to get in, but, you know, wait a few days. Let it go. Oh, excuse me. Got those yawns going again. All right, the, um, we can get the ether because that'll be needed. Okay, good. Hmm. Oh, yeah, X up here. Uh, yeah, 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 I should not have done that. Shouldn't have said that. Quote from something. Anybody know what that is? Kids and I have been watching all of those. Not as good as the books, but we'll just keep it there, I'm sure. I'm sure you guys know what that is. All right, so let's go back to the store. Let's focus. There we go. Hero Constellation. Oh, man. Speaking of focusing... I swear, we're not even in the right spot. Oh, let's just start from the end. All right, so let's get this 20,000 ether. So that's a total of 30. It's nice. What else do we have? So you see I bought all of these the other day. So 20 random relics. No point in waiting on that, right? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and do that too. You going to show them to me right now? You are. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't know what most of these are, so mostly mage ones the way it looks, so we'll just go ahead and take a look at them later. We have that, arena, we'll wait. 50 there, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Kraken tokens, dust, that would be good. I need some dust. Diamonds, torches. Okay, well there's the mage ones, we'll take those. Okay. Uh, double, we can wait on that. More purple dust, nice. More purple gems, nice. More purple dust. More ether. So, what is that? 30, that's uh, 45,000, I think, in ether. This is not going to help us get massively high, but it's certainly. Come on. How hard is it to say, okay, I see that you clicked that button? So, note to self, when we do this full opening here in a couple of days, we're going to have to do something because it's going to be too painful to sit here and do that for every single one of them. More purple dust. Very nice. I like it. More arena. Oh, we already spent the 4,000 of those. I did see the archers, though. Another 10,000 there. More dust. Well, did I miss it? I imagine there's one of each, archer and tank. Warrior, whatever. Hmm. So there's the 4,000 for the warriors, or archers, or I mean archers, um, the tank, whatever we're calling them. Oh, here it is right there. I did, sp oh man, I spent it already. Some of us are going to have to spend all that ether we just opened. So we will not be progressing nearly as much as I wanted to, but we are going to do some. Since we're running two archers, we'll see if we can't up our damage a bit with our archers. That'll be the, the focus right here. Let's go ahead and do it. And let's well buy something because we don't have... Oops, that's the wrong spot. This is something else we need to do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Distraction after distraction. This we need to have some Kraken tokens to cash in, but before I end up losing this... Oh, three minutes. I have done that so many times, but we have the portal. we got to go ahead and spend this. This is closing in a few hours. Let's go ahead and get our legendary ring here. Worst case, we get something we can... Ooh! A damage ring with three damage slots plus two crit slots. 
Oh, very nice. I will take that. That is very nice. Okay. We've got 6,000 more to spend. What are we going to spend that on? Let's go ahead and buy 50 of you. And I think that's it. I can't even buy anything. Okay, perfect. Nice. And I had something here, but I think I already opened them up while I was waiting. Ooh, this too. This I was waiting to do. Knock that out. So 50 more, so we got 100, 100 more of those back, that's good. Uh, some purple dust, good. Okay, um, hey, that's not bad. With our couple minutes here to spare. All right, can we at least do one thing before this? How much, what is this, two minutes until what? Battle's not available, and then five minutes till it shut down. We don't wanna get too close here and end up, you know, losing stuff. Okay. So let's go to our dungeon store. Go ahead and get some archer goodness with our 70,000 ether. Let's go ahead and buy two. Let's try by three, but since we're not gonna go too far. All right, so that'll get us enough to buy a little bit of archer strength. And then we'll have to put that ring on at another time. So we need to get to 50, we only got 20 ones. We got a lot of updating to do. Uh, we're not, we, okay, we went allied. Increases or dodge. We want to increase damage or crit, I guess we could do. But if I did that 3300, that would use every single thing that we have here. Increases the physical damage of an allied archer by 675. That's good. So right now we're 675, that puts up to 900. How much does that cost? A ton. All right, well, it's an option. Physical damage of the Arthur, Arthur, Arthur funny, author. 2600, so that's an option. Six hundred man, it's so expensive. This is why I haven't done anything, because I just don't have enough of much. What will this get us? Increases the damage done by allied by two percent for each enemy killed. And it goes up to three. It's fairly expensive for a little gain. And this we can't get until we get up to fifty, right? And what does this get us? Deal 12% extra physical damage to the targets whose health is more than 60% of their max health. All right, well, that's a good, that's a no-brainer right there. We'll take that one. It's cheap. Allied archers get a 7% chance to take a double shot at their current target. All right, that's good. Good, add that one on. Vamp I've been hearing a lot about this one, so this is probably good. When an allied archers have less than 50% health left, each of their shots that hit restores health by 8%. All right, good. And this, I'm just paying, you don't even need tokens for that. Nah. When allied archers are less than 50% health, very nice. 50-50 stays at 50%. Okay, that's very good. So should we go ahead and level some of those guys up a bit more? So archers are up to 33 now. We still need 17, 27 more. No, 17 more to get up there. And none of them are super cheap. That we can't do. We can do 3,300. Can't do that one anymore. That we could do right now. 7% will go up to what? Oh, we better check the time. I think we're getting close. Let's go ahead and do this one too. Okay. I think that put our extra, all that, got our power up like 17,000. Hoo hoo. Mm -hmm. And okay, we're done. We're not gonna do any more because it's less than five minutes and we will wrap up the video. Obviously we're gonna keep this one short and that's the goal right there. That is our direction that we will be aiming for the next uh, however long to start becoming a little bit more relevant in power because I've been around here for an extremely long time. So it's time to, it's time to start going up a little bit. Um, I think we have lots of decorations to go here too. I haven't, uh, maybe I open those up. But obviously there's more that we have to open to in the coming days. So, all right, what does that put our overall power up to? 32.95, almost back up to 3.3. .3. And obviously we switched some of those gems around and stuff. We gotta get money to do it. When we do that, that'll shoot our power up a bit too, so. Okay, we are gonna wrap that up. This will be, like I said, fairly short, but um, we have a direction to go. And we are nearing the end of the Great Royal Challenge. Two more days to go, plus, you know, probably three. And then we'll go ahead and open these guys up and see if we got anything good coming in them. 
at the very least we got some relics coming in we got some dust and some batches so and then whatever random stuff comes in so looking forward to that uh we got some good stuff headed our way in the next uh, week or so uh, i will be back soon what do we got two minutes left um i am running the other account as well and i also am not doing tons on that one but it's level six so everything is cheaper um so i've made a couple of decisions and some progress there i think i will try to come back if i have time in the next night or two on the other account so we can see where that one is we haven't been there in a long time uh the tr6 called the one and uh see where see where we're going to go with that account as well and then we'll come back with this account again within the five days so we can open up everything so that is where we'll be in the next couple of days so i will uh sign off for now since we're quickly running out of time this is qc runner for qc runner games and until the next one see you later